All right. Just came in. We had to film immediately. We've got the sunlight. And here he is. There we go. I almost don't want to really open it, Samantha, to be honest with you. Like, it looks so good in the packaging, but, well, you know, we're all about unboxing, so that's what we're going to do. So, here we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video. I'm Sammy from Tammy's Collectible Toy Store, and welcome back to another review, or welcome. And today, we are going to be looking at the Daredevil action figure. From Metro. Metro. <laughs> Boy. I've been working all day, folks. Okay, here we go. Marvel. We're so excited about this. I can't even talk for a sake. Marvel Legends retro line. Okay, let's yeah. let's get to it. Okay, and let's. Oh, I I, I don't want to open it, but I, God. yeah, I gotta open it. I don't want to. And look, look at the winds even tell me not to open it. But all right, Sammy, do your thing. Right. Let's open up Daredevil. Oh boy, look, he doesn't want to get open up. Is that a sign, everyone? It's not a sign. Is that a sign? Okay, let's open it up. All right, so about Daredevil, he is a lawyer and he is blind and he uses his senses like taste, smell, touch, hearing to kind of navigate himself. And he is the only superhero in I think DC or Marvel that actually is blind because he got chemicals in his eye from a car crash when he was really young. You know, you know what I really like about this figure? You know what I really like about it? What? The colors. They're bang on with the comic book. I love the horns coming out of his uh, little cowl there. It looks fantastic, and I love the white eyes. Look at that. That looks great. Yep. Hey, assistant, you're, uh, do you see anything here that uh, you like about Daredevil? No? Okay. Assistant doesn't. It's mesmerized by the look of Daredevil. She's constantly staring at him. What else do we see here with Daredevil? So it has this logo on there, DD. Yeah, DD, okay. You know what I like about Daredevil? He has a disadvantage out of all superheroes. Think about he's it. blind. He's blind, right? So, I mean, he has to he use his hidden senses to fight all the bad guys in Hell's Kitchen, which is in New York City. Let's have a look here. All right. So we have put in his batons in his hands. All right, Billy Clubs, batons, whatever you want to call it. And they're used as grappling hooks and weapons to give uh, his enemies... Some shots to the head, obviously, to knock them out. Um, and he uses the grappling hooks to, you know, swing around, similar to Spider-Man, but Spider-Man uses his webbing, okay? Yeah, so pretty cool. That's very cool, okay. All right. So we've got him in a pose now. Also, I forgot to mention, here's the articulation. You see, you can move his hand all the way around. You can turn his head whole 360. Right. And I'm just showing you your other hand. Also, the batons slip into his hand very easily, unlike some of our other action figures. So you can kick his leg all the way backwards, backwards, and you can also bend his hips. And get him in a sitting position there. Cool. All right, here's another shot of him here. Okay, so we're just giving him a, a little bit of a side profile here. All right, Sammy's got him in a pose here. Yep. Look at that. I, there's like one foot in front and then one of his hands are in front. I kind of made up this pose. I like these lines because they're similar to the old Marvel Secret War lines where basically um, they're sturdy, right? They mimicked whatever came out in 1984, 1985. And I think it's popular. I think it's a great thing for a lot of retro fans and for even the new generation to look at. Yeah, yeah it's not Mesco. No, it's not Hot Toys. Uh, is it perfect paint job? No, but does I it look? It. Yeah, does it look good? I think it looks sharp. I love it. So I'm going to give this about like a 9.5. I like the articulation. I like how easy it stands. I like the poses. I like the weapons. And I you like how he just fell down right there. He just did a complete nosedive. Yep. Help him up there. Okay, there we go. Okay. Oh, oh, he's having a vertigo issues. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, um, boy. Okay, here we got him. We got him. We got him. Yeah. Okay, your hands got him. All right. They gave him like abs and like, I really think that this figure is really nice. They gave him the white eyes, the little double horns. They got the colors bang on. They got the weapons, the batons, whatever they're called. And I really like it, honestly. What about your opinion, Dad? I, I give it a 9 out of 10. I think it's comparable with the Spider-Man. He's a bit taller than Spider-Man, but yeah, it looks good. One last shot of Mr. Daredevil. Hey Dad, are we supposed to do the outro? Uh, yeah, I'm um, just, yep, yeah, getting to it. Just gonna do one. You know, I can't stop staring at him, to be honest. With you. He, like, draws your eye in. It's just so cool. You know what? That's okay. That, it, okay. Me, All right. too. All right, here we go. The, the outro. And just, mm, hold on a second. You know what? Everybody just get a great glimpse of him. All right, all right. Let's get to the outro here. Okay, Sammy. 
Well, anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time we make a video. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I hope this was helpful for any Marvel collectors. See you guys in the next one. Bye! Daredevil off to Hell's Kitchen to take out Kingpin and his gangs. Dun, 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 dun.